Is building digital twins the next frontier for architects? If you drive a Tesla, there's a digital twin of your car on the Tesla servers. It's a digital representation of your car. Sensors on your car feed information into this digital twin, making it easy for engineers to analyze and optimize the car for future designs. For example, engineers can understand which parts of the car wear out fast, under what conditions the battery drains faster, how sensors capture driving information for insurance purposes, how onboard cameras might help the city gather information about crime statistics, and much, much more. The possibilities are limitless. Cumulated across many such digital twin instances, engineers can then refine the future car design to perform even better, and the loop feeds on itself. The concept of a digital twin was first developed in the late 1960s by NASA to digitally replicate the Apollo 13 rocket. The idea was that if you could create a digital representation of the physical object, then you could use that representation to understand and control that physical object. While the digital twin is a digital model of the physical object, why not apply this concept to abstract models like business processes, organizational structure, a capability, or a system topology. All we need is the right proxies for sensors that can create the digital model. And then what if we extend this idea of a digital twin to a whole company? This means that our digital model of the enterprise can reflect the enterprise closely in real time. Today, we do have static models of the business, and that's called enterprise architecture. Enterprise architects model the reality of the business and its ecosystem to help us understand, lead, and drive digital transformation. Enterprise architecture can be created for the current state and for different points in the future, reflecting how the business would transform over time. Static models of the future are useful for making decisions today about what to change so that we can get into the desired future state. Using this digital twin of the business and the decision-making framework, we can explore different options to adapt to the future, enabling the business to be agile, all for a lot less cost. We can simulate how many business decisions might impact the business of the future. For example, when we introduce a new product or service to meet an unfilled customer need, what is the optimal price for highest profitability? As an example, we can use the digital twin to track in real time the movement of goods in our distribution network down to the detail of specific SKUs. We can capture information like the location and the speed of the truck, predict when the goods will reach the retailer, divert some goods to another retailer who might be running short, understand different traffic conditions, the stops and starts, the rest breaks, and a whole lot more that can be optimized and enhanced. The digital twin is an approximation of reality, which means that you need to be able to capture enough detail for the purposes that you want to use it. Don't waste time capturing detail that will be irrelevant to the business. Approach the design of the digital twin from a business perspective, not from a technology perspective. Technology should help solve the business problem. While in this video, I'll not get into the rigorous thinking that goes into creating a digital twin, it's an area that enterprise architects must get familiar with because that is the way of the future. The metaverse, for example, uses technology that in many ways will popularize digital twins. The advantage of using digital twins are many. My intent here is to share a conceptual idea and leave it to your imagination to think about all possible uses. Please share in the comments below your thoughts on how businesses could use digital twins and the role architects play in it. If you have an important story about technology and transformation to share with your stakeholders, we'd love to help you frame and formulate it in a video and a one pager just like this one. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do me a favor, 
subscribe to my channel and share it with a friend. Sign up on my website to get a one-page visual summary of this video. Thank you.